I mean, if like if we weren't gonna do nothing and we had no budget and we were gonna get in the van and tape the bumper to the van and go tape the trailer to the van, I knew they were down. So I put together my friends who, you know, I could have easily did a band with some Dave Navarro dude, but I wanted to do it with people that were my friends who never got a chance. And up to three years ago, I was still playing like I'm playing now, but I never got the chance that you guys see me on another platform where you're like, ah. you know what I'm saying? I was still doing the same thing, I just never got a chance. So I wanted to showcase my friends who never got a chance, people who are background singers. Who are background singers. So to keep the story short, um, yeah, I, it's just that we're just, we, we thought we were going to have to get in the van and take the bumper to the car. And now that the record sounds so good, we're like, no, nah, dog, we're getting the deal. <laughs> so we're just taking our time, dude. Yeah. How do you play so fast around the kid? Um, oh, I got exercises for that. <laughs> and I think I stole them from Virgil Donati because I was on a clinic tour of Virgil Donati and I got to watch him practice for five hours. No, I'm just playing. But I did get to watch him practice a lot. But you would, I mean, I think I stole it. I, I, I think I thought about it yesterday. super fast, almost like an AD baby. So <laughs> do a lick that's really hard for me to do. And that's what, honestly, what I've been on lately is doing something that's hard. But like, honestly, a lot of, it's easy to do a crowd pleaser lick. It's easy to do a whole simple that lick. But like, you know, it's really hard to do difficult stuff. So I've been trying to be difficult. If you want to cook, if you want to cook pasta. 
pasta. You might have to cook pasta three times to get good at it. You know what I'm saying? You just keep practicing until you get it. You back there with the face I can't see. How did you do on that concept that they jumped when I was nine? Oh, I want it. I had all. <laughs> yeah, I wanted that drum set so bad, dude. Yeah, I, I had all these um, I had all these drum teachers all bummed, and all these older dudes who wanted to sell the drum set because they needed rent money. And I was bummed out, and I was nine, dude. So it was like for me, I just like ah! that night. I went home and set it up. I got like pictures of me with like ash caps trying to sell with no pants on, just short. Any other questions? <laughs> Is there like a workout? <laughs> um, well, not really. Well, when I got into Mars Volta, we was doing three hour sets. So it was more like stretching. Like I would stretch and I would like breathe. And then like I would pace myself because some people, like the first song, like, ah! <laughs> and then by the end of the song, like, <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta pace yourself. Cause it's like, and then like the other, the other thing that I was doing, you know, is I would make sure I could hear my drums. <laughs> I'll be like, ah! and I'll be like, no, it's not loud enough. And it would be loud enough. I would just say that so I wouldn't have to hit it super hard. Because when you're playing in festivals, like you're not, like you hitting super hard ain't gonna change the sound in out there. It just makes you get tired and it just makes you look dumb. And I just, you know, after a while of looking dumb, I just started being like, dude, I'm about to pace myself. So a lot of times I'm super pacing myself, and people are like, he's keeping up. I'm like, yeah, he's pacing himself. <laughs> and then sometimes uh, you can make it seem like you're doing a lot more if you just head back. <laughs> so what do I expect? Oh, what can you expect? Um, like um, the Memorial's record. Like most people thought I was gonna go drum crazy and do a million drum solos on it. And it's not really, it's not really that. It's more like me and the guitar player writing songs in the, dude, when I left the Mars Volta, dude, I was so like, I was still on fire and I still wanted to play those same stages. And um, I just wanted to do it with people who were cool. I just wanted to do it with people who were super cool and did not have a lot of the hangups that, you know, people who have been doing it for eight years have. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do it with people who were fresh, who were down to get in the bus and let's party and have fun. So hopefully you'll get like, you'll get our energy and you tell that we had fun making a record and like that's kind of important dude sometimes you hear records and you hear no personality like it's dope you'd be like that's dope but i don't hear any it's soulless basically it's no soul in it so for me it's like it was good to like like vivica she could write about a donkey on the porch like she could write about anything and i've been in a band for three years i'm not <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to have lyrics that were actually lyrics. You know what I'm saying? I wanted, you know, my grandmother goes to church, so she cares about lyrics. She cares about what's being said. And, you know, I watched this dude yesterday have a pentagram. He had a Mars with a jacket with a pentagram on the front. And I'm just like, I go to church. I don't represent the pentagram. So it's like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, I wanted to do it with people who, who I vibe with, who we had a similar spirit. So I think that you guys would get, um, you just get our soul. Like, all right, we left it on the plate, dude. I was just got out the Mars Volta situation. I was bumming out. My girlfriend left me all at the same time. I was, yeah, they're like, oh. But I was, I was like bumming out. And then like everybody else, I've been so overworked for three years that I knew how to overwork people. So I was like, I had a lighter under everybody's butt. Like now, now, I still do now. And so um, you just hear that. You hear passion and people going just bananas. Really, I don't know how to explain what it is. More questions? See you back there. So is it true that the drummer's always with his kids? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, just say yes. <laughs>